टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दॉन्ड लेंथ बॉन्ड लेंथ दैट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द बॉन्ड बिटवीन टू एटम्स नाउ वी नो दैट वेन अ बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म्ड बिटवीन टू एटम्स देन इट इज सीन दैट बोथ ऑफ दैम विल कम क्लोजर लाइक वी हैव मेड द बॉन्ड बिटवीन ए बी दीज आर द टू एटम्स एंड अ बॉन्ड हैज बीन फॉर्म्ड इन दैम नाउ ड्यूरिंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द बॉन्ड these two atoms they will approach each other or they will come closer to one another till a minimum distance till a minimum distance till a minimum distance and till this minimum distance now at this minimum distance what will happen is that the potential energy which will be decreasing by their coming closer that become minimum and this is the minimum distance between the centers of the two nuclei and at this minimum distance the potential energy will also become minimum and the potential energy when becomes minimum it means that the repulsive and the attractive forces they have balanced each other means repulsive forces between two similar that is between two nuclei and attractive forces between the nuclei and the uh, and the electrons of another atom means they have repulsive and attractive forces they have become minimum and and they have just balanced each other they have balanced each other this minimum distance will be the bond length and now since there is continuously the atoms are vibrating so this distance will not remain constant this will vary so bond length will be the average of the minimum distance or the optimum distance at which the potential energy becomes minimum and the attract and the repl uh, the repulsive forces they have just balanced uh, balanced each other that is for the bond length now this bond length is determined by by x ray diffraction or you can say electron diffraction and and also by the spectroscopic methods we can determine it and now the unit the unit of bond length is the angstrom you know that one angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 8 cm or we can say it will be 10 to the power minus 10 meters or it can also be measured in or another unit as a picometer you know that picometer is Ten to the power minus twelve meter. So this uh, this is the unit of the bond length. Now look at the now let's see the magnitude factors that affect magnitude. The magnitude of uh, bond length will be affected by. will be affected by number 1 is size of atom when we say size of atom we are saying that with increase in the size of atom bond length with, uh, will increase increase in size of atom bond length will increase
this can be explained by taking example of the cx bond now with the difference in the size or with increase in the size of the x atom or the halogen atom the bond length will change look how for the carbon and fluorine cf bond fluorine has smaller size here then this bond length is 142 pm now next is ccl with this this is bigger than fluorine 177 pm this is a small smallest atom fluorine and then chlorine this has increased and then further bromine which has more bigger size compared to these the bond length will be 191 pm for the iodide ci this bond length becomes to 13 pm because iodine has bigger size compared to this so we have seen that with increase in the size of the atom the bond length is increasing with size in the uh, with increase in the size of the atom bond length is also increasing now other factor is multiplicity when i say multiplicity i am saying that when i say multiplicity i am talking about single bond double bond triple bond with increase in the multiplicity bond length decreases for example your cc bond that is cc single bond this has bond length of 154 angstroms C double bond C that is seen in case of alkenes. This is one point three four angstrom. Then for C triple bond C, this becomes a one point two zero angstrom. So with increase in the multiplicity, the bond length is decreasing. Or in other words, we can say. with increase we can say that that this is your sp3 this is sp2 this is your sp now when in case of sp3 the p character is 75% 75% p character is there and for sp2 just 66.7% and for here it's just 50% p character so what you are looking here is that with when the p character is decreasing bond length is also decreasing so we can say that this is also decreasing with the decrease in the p character and so this was all about the bond length